Okay, today we're going to be multiplying whole numbers. Step one, we're going to multiply the top factor by the ones digit. So what does this look like? Okay, for example, 328 times 14. As you notice, my ones place is in the purple color. So I'm going to begin by multiplying the top factor by the ones like this. 4 times 8 is 32. Okay. 4 times 2 is 8, and then I add 3. Okay, and then I move my 11. For example, 11 does not fit in this one place, so I have to put it up above my hundreds. 4 times 3 is 12, and one more is 13. Okay, I have to remember my comma and I get 1,312. My second step, step two, tells me to place my zero placeholder. Okay, what does that look like? Okay, again, 328 times 14. So, I have now finished using my four in the ones place. So I'm just gonna draw a line through that to remi remind me that I don't need to multiply by the ones place any longer. So let's rewrite this here. Okay, and I put my zero in place because I'm no longer multiplying by that one. Okay, let's move on to our next step. Step three. Okay, I'm going to multiply the top factor by the tens digit. Okay, let's see what that looks like. 328 times 14. This time I'm going to make my tens digit in that pink color so we can really see it. Okay, so I already know that this is my product of my ones. I know I'm no longer multiplying by the ones, so I have my zero placeholder. And now I'm going to multiply by my tens. So I continue like this. One times eight is eight. One times two is two. 1 times 3 is 3. And my final step is to add both of my partial products. If you look at this answer, this is the product when I multiplied my factors by 1. And this is my product of the multiplication of my factors by the 10. I add them all together and it gives me my final answer. And remember, boys and girls, step four, remember to add your partial products to give you your final total. Okay, and now for the left side. Okay, let's work out problem number one, 258 times 27. I know you can do it. Just remember to follow the steps that we just finished reviewing and then go on to number two and work on that one independently as well. Good luck. And chicken noodles too.